Bonjour, my name is Kimberly Wilson, and you are here with Tranquil Du Jour in the Pink Palace, freshly organized and in process Pink Palace. And I just wanted to share a few ideas on handmade holidays. So a few things that I'm working on this holiday season. So rather than buying another glove and mitten set or, you know, scarf set or the many things that we get tons of over the holidays, I wanted to come up with some fun ideas to do something that's just a little different, a little special, and then uniquely you and uniquely for the person, uh, uniquely the person that you're giving to. So I spent an hour at Michael's, a, you know, similar, you, you may have a, a Hobby Lobby or AC Moore or something along those lines. And I asked them if they had chalkboard contact paper and they were like, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I found it. And so it comes in a roll like this, which is great. And it has, as contact paper does, the grids on the back so that you can cut it and it will be perfectly aligned. And what I'm going to do with this cut it and then place it around. This is a reused spaghetti sauce jar. And then I'm going to put it all the way around and then write a little note to somebody and then insert gift inside. So I haven't decided what will go inside of this because there's so many different jar sizes. So of course you could put in some handmade bath salts. You could put in some of their favorite candy, you know, so there's just different thing, different ways to do it. And one way too, if you don't have the lid and you wanna use this, is you put in like a four by four square of your favorite fabric, even tissue paper actually, put it on top and then put a rubber band around it and then you have a cute little seal for it. So just a fun way to do something that's a little different and totally personalized. You could write a favorite quote, a favorite saying, or even just a person's name and put it under the tree. So. The other thing I wanted to show is, are, the, are these little chalkboards. So these are great, and you can usually get these for a few dollars at one of the um, one of the great little craft stores. And of course, you could paint the edge. These are slates, so they're actually really nice. And write a little love note, or for the holidays, for like say a holiday party that you're throwing, you could have one of the smaller ones out, and they could be like table tents for people, so people know where to sit, where to go. And they're just really cute too. You can drill holes. This is what we usually do at the studios for decor. We drill holes in them and then we, with a ribbon, and then we hang it around and it'll say, you know, something promoting maybe our product underneath or, um, you know, a nice little quote or inspiration. So these are great, really great, and just a few dollars. Another chalkboard item that I think is really cool, and I saw these before I found my contact paper I was looking for, are chalkboard sheets. So these come three to a packet. You peel them off and then you can just kind of stick them on the wall or stick them wherever is like your to-do list or a reminder or I'm thinking of you. And again, you could cut these and have them out as table tents or something along those lines for holiday parties. And then the last thing I wanted to show is a reminder that some of you probably saw over the summer I began to play with embroidery. So this was my practice sheet. And this is my bluebird. I did that freehand. As you'll see, he turned out more like a, I'm not really sure, almost like an interesting cat. So <laughs> clearly I need to work on my, on my bird. But here's an owl, here's another bird. So I was trying to replicate him inside the cage. Didn't go so well. Beautiful flowers. And then it has all these lines from being on the hoop. So what I'm going to do is I picked up a few things. One is this darling half apron. So this is so cute. And even though I don't cook, I was like, well, somebody cook. Somebody will need this for the holidays. And then I'm going to embroider on it. Isn't that so cute? And it comes, you know, it comes blank so people can iron on. You could uh, use fabric glue and add like embellishments to it. Whatever it is that, that you enjoy playing with. I want to work with embroidery. And then I also got this little three pack of canvas bags. And another thing that you can do too 
are onesies. So onesies and then blank onesies and embroider them for newborns or you know new babies in your among your friends or families. But this is really cute and again you can do transfers on it or things along those lines but I'm going to do some of my embroidery work and I'm thinking of really just I love 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 these flowers and then the bird and of course I love and I began working on another one a bird cage. There's also in this amazing book if you're not familiar with Jenny Hart of Subline Stitching, this is a really great book, Embroidered Effects, and inside she has a chandelier, and so I definitely want to play with a chandelier, and a friend of mine actually even sent me her chandelier transfer, so I'm going to play with that. Love the chandelier, and you'll see it really is, this is uh, an amazing form of kind of DIY that's quite relaxing, really, really relaxing, and so fun to do. And uh, there's a lot of really great embroidery books out there. But this one I really enjoy, Subline Stitching. She, um, she's got a great website, too, with lots of patterns and transfers. But inside, it shows, like, lots of ways in which to embellish tea towels. That's something that you'll see a lot of anthropology. And, you know, they're quite expensive. And how cute to give a tea towel to someone for the holidays that you have actually made yourself. They didn't have blank tea towels there, there, so that's why I picked up the bag, and they only had one half apron. I thought the aprons were darling. And then one last thing I wanted to show was, while I was there, I also picked up, I like certain colors of threads, so I really love pastels, and I was so excited that they had pastel skeins. So here is just something that's, it just makes me want to embroider and play with things and make things, so pastel. So that is just a quick tutorial on a few ways in which I plan to pull together some handmade holidays gifts for, for people and also to make them really special and really unique based on what it is that they are currently into. And one other thing I wanted to show is this. So these beautiful tulips I picked up over the weekend, this was actually, it used to have a candle in it. And so what I did is I pulled out the wick because at the very bottom, of course, is that metal base. And then I put it in the microwave and I put it on just, gosh, maybe like 40 seconds. Then I got nervous. And then the wax came right out, poured it out, put it through the micro or the dishwasher. And now I've got this gorgeous face that I can reuse. So keep in mind of things along those lines that you can do for making holiday gifts also. So I hope this inspires you to be a little crafty over the holidays. And a reminder that this Wednesday is our Tranquilology class, our, our annual seasonal holiday one. So we have them seasonally, and this is our annual holiday one. So where we'll learn eight petals and ways to be a little more tranquil over the holiday season. So thanks as always for watching, and I hope you have a delightful week. Namaste.